a solenoid is any wire that is wound into a coil and so we can use this to create an electromagnet by starting with a current carrying wire that we have over here that we wrap around a iron core and so our current carrying wire carrying current in this direction that we have over here as we can see it wraps around the back which rep is represented by the dotted line comes around the front and carries the current in that direction now we know that any current carrying conductor has a magnetic field produced perpendicular to it that acts in concentric circles around it and we can determine the direction of that magnetic field using our right hand wire rule which says here that the current is going into the page or into the board using our right hand wire rule we can see that the current or the magnetic field is directed as follows for around the wires at the top of the solenoid and for the wires at the bottom using our right hand rule once again we can see that the magnetic field moves or is directed in this direction for the wires at the bottom of the solenoid. Now what we can see here is that we have in various places around the solenoid we have opposing magnetic fields. We can very clearly see that the magnetic field in the center or in between these wires is uniform and in the same direction as all of those lines point in the same direction but what we can see is that between these wires we have opposing magnetic fields which means that the resultant magnetic field there would be zero and then finally we can see that around the outside of these wires we have once again a uniform magnetic field. What this does is it allows us to draw a magnetic field around the solenoid that looks almost identical or is identical to the magnetic field that would be produced around a magnet and we can even determine the direction of those magnetic field lines. We also remember that magnetic field lines are always directed from the north pole of a magnet to the south pole of a magnet. And what we've done here is by using a current carrying conductor and using the fact that a changing electric field in that current produces a magnetic field, we have created an electric or we have created an electromagnet using a current carrying wire. We can use what is called the right hand solenoid rule to determine the which is the north pole of a solenoid by curling our fingers in the direction in which the conventional current flows as we can see the conventional current flows along the top of the solenoid uh, upwards here and then our thumb would point in the direction of the north pole of that solenoid. Obviously if I were to put my hands on the back of the solenoid my fingers would curl downward and once again my thumb would point to the north pole so we can then determine the polarity of the solenoid without having to draw the magnetic field around that solenoid. So there are three factors that affect the strength of the magnetic field or of an electromagnet. The first one being the number of turns. Obviously if you put more turns around there are more interfering magnetic fields which creates a stronger net magnetic field. Obviously a bigger current would produce a greater strength magnetic field around each wire which once again would strengthen the electromagnet and then obviously if you had a different type of core obviously something that magnetizes more easily or maintains its magnetism for longer you would increase the strength of that electromagnet.